I wanted to introduce today a couple new features that we added to the editor on EDA Playground. The first one is search. Uh, so simply type in control F and you'll have a search box come up up here and you can type uh, a search term, for example clock, and then press uh, control G to go to the next items. As you might have noticed, when you press Control F, there's also an option to do a regular expression search. So, for example, if I search for CL dot dot K, that should also find uh, instances of the clock, as you can see. And that, the documentation for the search feature is available on um, on the documentation page. You basically, go to uh, Settings and Buttons, and in that page, there's going to be Editor Modes and Shortcuts and you'll have the keystrokes here for the search. Uh, another thing I wanted to show is find and replace feature which is uh, shift control F by default. So let's try that. Shift control F, let's say we want to replace clock with CLK and it lets you replace things or don't replace one or just simply stop. Um, so the next feature I wanted to cover is um, Emacs and VI modes. So by default um, you know the editor comes up comes up in default mode with the uh, the following search and uh, other shortcuts. But you can switch to uh, Vim and Emacs modes. Now these are just local uh, approximations, so they're not exact. Uh, you know some some features may be missing or may not work exactly the same, but they're pretty close approximations. So you go to your user page, and on the bottom you're going to have your user options, and here's where you pick different modes. Uh, so let's try Emacs first. You select Emacs and you save your options. And now let's uh, let's go back to the to the example that I was looking at. Uh, okay, so now we're in the Emacs mode. So you can you know use your control all your Emacs shortcuts, and uh, even doing search works with Emacs, which is Control S. Uh, so Emacs working as expected. So let's try Vim now. Let's switch to Vim mode. We're going to save options. So let's go back uh, to that example. So now we're in Vim mode. You see it looks a little bit different because we're in command mode. So for example, if I type D twice, it's going to delete a line. And you know, Vim also has search. And the search bar shows up in the bottom here. And as you can see, it's dynamic search. As I search things, things are getting highlighted. Uh, so that's it for today.